like switching gears and turning on the camera. Man, it, it was totally different. You don't get that uh, that immediate, you know, response from the fans. You know, you might get a that was good from Zach or all right, let's do it again, which means it's. <laughs> but uh, he was very good about about telling me it sucked, but in a good way that didn't make me feel like it sucked, even though some of it did. So, and it was very strenuous. Like we're in the ring for five minutes. We're shooting this movie and it's prosthetics for eight hours overnight. Okay, come on. Uh, still two o'clock in the morning. Okay, it's three o'clock. Okay. We had two more hours. I mean, we shot the last day. We were really filmed for 15 days. The whole movie in 15 days, which is the same. Mm -hmm. the, the shortest the movies usually go is like 45. And that's pushing. So, I mean, this, we knew we were on a time crunch. We were filming until 6 o'clock in the morning the day I flew out. And I flew out three hours later. So we knew we had to get it all in. But we had fun. We had so much fun. It's, it's really going to excite now you were still on a wrestling schedule and making this movie so how did you bounce around from you know what they gave, the me, they gave me they gave me some time off they gave me the three weeks off four weeks actually about a month um, so I could film and really concentrate on that I, there's no, no way I mean these other guys go from filming to wrestling to filming to wrestling I wouldn't have been able to do it I, I, I would have been worn, worn out and just <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything particularly about this character that you like to sort of relish with, like in the fact that you're playing a card or more? You know what I'm not, a whole movie guy at all. Um, saw is just, like, that's the most horror-ish I get, I guess. And so, I, I guess, when I, when I was approached about it three years ago, um, it was one of those things where I was like, okay, this would be different. And, and, and Zach's vision of the character was so different than what I thought it was going to be. It really, uh, it really made for some fun and it made me be able to own this character and really go into the role a lot. Uh, did you speak to uh, Warwick Davis at all, the original uh, Leprechaun, or did you just separate yourself from the original as much as possible and do your own thing? That, uh, that question is going to be the one that I get asked. Um, no, I didn't. I've never seen the old movies ever. None of them, no clips, nothing. Uh, not as a, you know, as a, not get anything against him, but I'm glad I didn't. Because yeah. I, I character wise, I don't think I would have been able to take anything from that character for this role because it's so incredibly different. Um, he, uh, Twitter went crazy. When I was announced that I was doing it, like Twitter always does, <laughs> you're in the spotlight, you, you get that. And But it, uh, he owned it. No one's going to take that away from you. We are just making a new franchise. That was that. It was six, seven movies. That was his. This is ours. The only thing the same about this movie compared to the older ones is the name. Literally the only thing the same. So, which is good. It, it's just, there's, there's no humor. It's all slashing. Not even gore. It's scary. Is there anything during filming that surprised you? Like uh, actor and directing that was like, oh wow, that's different. Oh, I'm learning something new. You know what? It, uh, from the makeup process, the prosthetics, two hours a day to get in twice a day, once before lunch, once after, and then an hour to get out every time. That surprised me. And, when Zach would say, okay, we have a close-up day, I would just be cussing. That means a <laughs> more time. And, but it was, I would have sat, after looking at it now, I would have sat another two hours, because it turned out the look is so well done. It just, it looks great. Uh, well, uh, a couple days ago on the Chucky panel, uh, they had asked the series creator of Don Monsignor if he'd ever be willing to uh, cross the Leprechaun and Child's Play franchise, now that the Child's Play franchise is going more towards horror again. Would you ever be open to the possibility of crossing over with another horror franchise, or do you like just... Man, that, that, that uh, I just got asked about the Chucky movie, and I, I didn't realize they were doing a new one next month, I think. It's already out. Yeah. yeah. It's real. Yeah, last week. Yeah. A new movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't see anything about it. <laughs> I don't watch TV, I guess. Um, that excites me. You know what? I, I really would almost like to... Uh, I've watched only one of them. The Bride of Chucky, I think it was. Or the, seed of the Bride one, yeah. 
and it, it interested me. It was, it was, it was neat how they did that. Um, I would love to cross over that. That would be, I think it would be a really cool crossover too, especially with the new character. With the old one, it's, it would be almost too comical. Uh, but this new one, it would be, be a good crossover. Not to mention that Jurassic Yeah, well, they, they both kind of went in the same direction, I think. Lovercon and Jurassic they kind of started out with horror, and then yeah. both got like, kind of funnier and funnier as they went into Now they're both going back to horror again. So they kind of, it seems like it would be a, like, a crossover that would be it did huge. Seem, show. Now that you say that, it was like kind of cheesy. The Chucky ones were kind of cheesy the last few, last couple of them. And, but first, I've never, I mean, I've never seen the first ones. I would love to go back and watch those. But I heard those are, those are more, much more horror, and if they're going that way, that's a good, exciting like, upstart, three upstart. Mm -hmm. You know what? Uh, wrestling is my passion. Uh, it's always been my passion, my dream to do it. Uh, I love it. I really, really do. I am hoping this opens other doors, like for other movies and other roles and that stuff. But uh, you never know. I, mean, I hope it does. I would love to be in a Muppet movie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you any cartoons? Voiceovers? That'd yeah. be great. Family Guy, Simpsons. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Those guys are making bang. <laughs> <laughs> they go in for two hours for the whole season and they make billions. I was just talking to one of my, the guys I work with at Poker Kingston. I said, these guys go in this studio and record their voice for yeah, two right, hours. Right, exactly. For a season, <coughs> and they're done. Then they go to the next show. Yes. But they get paid by each. So, I, not, like, I don't know. It seems so easy. It's probably not, and it's not to crap it on or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's your voice, <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. 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 you've done this right. You can come to the record, and you're done. So, it'd be great. I mean, that would be, that'd be easy. <laughs> Have you ever considered doing comedy acting for WWE Studios? You know what, I thought, they, I thought, I really did think when they approached me about the movie that it was going to be like the old ones, so it was going to be a little more comical and humorous. But then when I heard more about it, I was very excited that it wasn't. I would love to do more WWE Studios. I really think this and uh, Single Evil 2 is really going to be an upstart for WWE films again and get it back going again. I mean, we've had some great movies. Uh, Brodus is No One Lives, I heard it was very good. Um, so we've had some good ones, but I'm looking to be at the top. Is there anyone in particular that you kind of want to work with in the future? Like any actor, another wrestler? Man, it's just, it's so, I, I mean, it's just one movie that I've done now. I, I would love, I mean, besides the Muppet movie, I can't really think like a pinpoint <laughs> one guy or a girl that I would love to work with. That'd just be a dream of mine, too. All right. Uh, I got to bring up a funny hornswoggle moment yeah. when you were the littlest member of DX. DX, yes. That was fun, man. Like, <laughs> I was a kid. I was, I was a huge fan of theirs. You know? So being able to be a part of that was awesome. That was, that was so cool to me. Being able to work with two veterans and all of them was great. Uh, One more? Anybody? We good? I think we're good right now. So, yeah. Good. Yeah. Very cool to meet you. Thanks, guys.